Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the farm. It has been, I mean at this point it's almost been a year since we were last on this farm and somehow we're still in December on the exact day where we left off. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we're picking up exactly from where we left off. Let's just turn off this tractor real quick. I was just testing that everything was working. Um, yes, it is December. We are on the farm. We have basically 61,000 euros to our name. And in the last episode, we got these fellas over here. I am very excited about this, but yeah, we now have cows. Um, not in there, but out here in the field. Look at them. It's awesome. I think this might actually be the one that I use for the thumbnails. This one right here. Hello. <laughs> Moo to you too. Uh, today... We are going to be... It, today is going to be big selling day, basically. Uh, we're not going to be selling the eggs, but we're going to be selling a bunch of other stuff. Because if we go into here, I think two episodes back, we uh, harvested these, the sugar beet right here. And if we go into here, basically it's the right time of year to sell almost everything that we have. I believe the sorghum, yep, December, we need to sell that. Uh, sunflowers we can't sell just yet, uh, but sugar beets... That is now here in December. That's a really, really good price as well. And we also do have silage. We have a bunch of that. And that is the right price to sell right now as well. So we have a bunch of stuff to do. So without any further ado, let's jump into the tractor. And keep in mind, I have not played this for quite a while. And I will have forgotten a lot of things. Also, the game might stutter a little bit because it's like caching everything back in uh, because I haven't had this running for, again, ages. Uh, so there we go. Let's detach that. And this tractor really does need a wash, doesn't it? Oop, I hit the microphone arm. That's going to happen quite a bit, isn't it? <laughs> Let's give this tractor a quick wash. Uh, yeah, wait, uh, wait, how do I use this? There we go. R. So yeah, I do remember something. Yeah. Let's give this tractor a wash because uh, we're going to be, like I said, selling a bunch of stuff. Nice, it's going to look brand new. And something we should probably look at is the used marketplace. I forgot about that. There we go. Let's take a look here. See if there's anything that tickles our fancy. I don't think though, though. Slurry tanker. We are slowly, if we take a quick look here at the animals. Right here. Go to the cows. We are actually generating a little bit amount of slurry. And they've only been here for however long they've been here. Uh, but yeah, I think it's not quite worth it buying that just yet, unfortunately. So we'll leave that as it is for now. And uh, let's go over here to the Silas Bales. I don't know how much money we're actually going to be making today. It's going to be very, very interesting. We have... How many, how many bales do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 16! Wow, 16 Silas Bales. That's not going to be too bad. question is how many liters we have. That's the primary thing. There we go. 56,000 liters. Also, I'm going to really quickly move my microphone here. All right, now it's out of the way of the steering wheel. We can now go ahead and, well, first of all, we need to, of course, go ahead and uh, take a place where we need to sell it. That's cotton. We don't have cotton. <laughs> we need to go ahead and pick silage. This is the best price right here. I'm going to attack the place. Right here, uh, attack place, boom. And we need to go in that-ish direction. Now, as you have probably noticed, I am running the game time at currently uh, in real time. Oh, that's our sheep, hello. Uh, <laughs> so one minute in game is one minute in real life. Normally I would be running it at six or something, but I really want to keep the daytime for this video. Uh, I don't really want to be driving in the dark, but after this episode, we will be going back to running with uh, like times five or something like that. Times five or four. Is there even times five or four? There's three or five. Well, we'll probably try with five. Uh, I think I'm going the right way. I honestly have no idea. I should look at the big map, shouldn't I? Oh, it's all the way down there. Yeah, this is a fine. This, this is a fine way. This should be fine. We should actually get to see quite a bit of the map from here, and a bunch of different fields. These are some good grass fields up here, actually. Like 32. That's actually not bad. And 34, quite a big, long and wobbly one. Look at that. I'm trying to drive while also steering my head. That's uh, not not as easy as it would seem. <laughs> kind of keep an eye on the road while also looking at the horizon. All right, here we go. We'll look both ways. 56,000 liters of silage. 
that's not bad. Now, can this tractor manage this hill with that much load? Oh dear, 16 kilometers an hour, 15, 14, and we should be good. Yeah, I, I've said it in all the other episodes, I think, as well. But a brand new tractor, not a brand new tractor, but like a new tractor with a lot more horsepower would really, really be beneficial for this farm. We really need to get that soon. Man, I'm loving this map. And we can see the green beam of uh, something in the sky, so we're almost there. I can see it on the minimap as well. Field 48 as well. All the grass, all the stuff. This field, oh dear. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I haven't played this game for many, many, many months since the last episode. And uh, do I need to go in here? I have no idea. I'm going to find out together. Uh, so yeah, I will have forgotten a lot of the stuff that I knew beforehand. Uh, so yeah, ju just a heads up. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Um, I need to remember how to change viewing mode. There we go. Select camera. So I should be able to go in here and yep, L is that. I do remember something. So if we go in here and then press L, I believe. Yep, it's all being sold. 19,428 euros. I'll say that was a pretty much worth it. We got that as well, by the way, from... Um, we got that from a contract as well. That is, I think, not too bad. How on earth do I change the lights? <laughs> oh man. All right, so that was the silage sold. Now we need to go back and fetch our trailer, which I need to figure out where on earth I placed. And then we need to sell, I believe... What should we sell first? I think the, the beets. Let's sell those first, and then we can sell the sorghum at the end. Now, we also do have a greenhouse, and we do have eggs, but I do not think that those are ready just yet, if I remember correctly. If we go in here and take a look at... Where is it? Where is it? Lettuce. We do have lettuce. Yeah, that's in February, and eggs will be... Yeah, right there. Actually... It could be, it could be, it could be worse. It's right after the the best time to sell it, but we don't have a full pallet yet, so I think we'll just leave them until we are actually ready to uh, to sell like a, a bunch of them. That'll be nice. And I do remember we need to turn in this direction. Nice. I'm starting to learn the layout a little bit, or I just remember where I came from because I did it two minutes ago. Uh, but but we'll go with the first option. <laughs> And you know what? I think we'll actually park the trailer right here. That's probably going to be a nice place to put it. And then I need to figure out where I have placed my trailer for the silo. Maybe by the silo? Maybe I was actually smart and did that? Maybe? Maybe not. Right, let's take a look at the map. Saving content. Thank you. Right, where is my... Oh, it's literally in the shed right in front of me <laughs> oops ah yeah there it is hello there we go bag it up beep 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 okay i don't need to do actual beeping sounds but you, know, you get the point there we go i believe they're in the silo anyway i'm really hoping so otherwise i have no idea where my beats are <laughs> uh let's find out though um let's go in here there we go and let's see i believe it's i Nope, control I. Uh, nope, that's unload. Where's the load? Start filling. There we go. R. And nope, not barley, not sorghum just yet. Not the sunflowers. We need the sugar beets. There we go. Filling those up. I don't know how. I think it was 20,000 liters we had, right? We should be able to have all that in this one load. Or we're maxed out with the weight. Okay. That is realistic, so we will stick to that. And we can drive just out here. Nice. Question is, where are we actually selling this stuff? Uh, sugar bee, sugar bee, sugar bee, sugar bee. That is. Uh, ooh, prices change fast, don't they? Uh, 300, yep. Hopefully this is actually not a train, though. 
Oh, it is. It is a train. So we'll need to... Yeah, you don't want to use trains. But it's the best price, so I think it'll be worth it. I think it'll be very quickly worth it. So that's fine. So where we need to go is actually to go to here. Rent the train. So I'll actually tag this place. Because that's where we need to go. We could put it here, but then we're not going to get a, a train journey out of it. So we need to drop them off at the silo by the train. So this load and the next load as well. Then we need to go over and lease the train. And then we can sell the beet roots. All right, that's the plan then. Yeah, this tractor is definitely struggling. I probably shouldn't have loaded it with this much. I was thinking about it when I was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> loading it up, but well, we could also upgrade the engine, I believe. We could upgrade the engine. I don't know how pricey that would be. But if we did that, it would get a little bit more horsepower. And while it does look like we have like a lot of money right now, 82,000 euros will get our subsidy as well. Hey, I think I pronounced it right this time. Uh, <laughs> then, yeah, it's not gonna be... I mean, that's one piece of machinery if we buy something. So we need to spend it very, very wisely. Can't just uh, use it on a bunch of stuff that we really want. We need to be smart about it still. Especially because soon we'll need seed. We need to put in the crop. We'll need to lease machinery potentially for different reasons. Maybe if we need to spread like uh, manure or something like that to like increase the the value of the field, something like that. So yeah, we, we need to save up. Ideally. Now, I don't know about you, but I feel like I am definitely not going the most optimal route. Yeah, I definitely could have gone behind my farm instead of going all the way around. Can I go... I, that's a compound. Can't go through that. I think there's a bridge up ahead. And then we can cross that and get to the train station. But yeah, that would have been a faster way. Yeah, here's the bridge. Very, very good. There we go. Cross it. Nice big turn. Then, actually, we need to go this way. Oh, dear me. I can't promise a sign won't be hit in the process. Oh, we're good. <laughs> nice. Oh, dear. Hello, dear. Oh, dear, it's a deer. You're never going to hear the end of that. I'm going to say that. Maybe not every time I see a deer, but I'm going to say it a lot. <laughs> oh, we are struggling on this hill. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. There we go. Man, yeah. Stronger tractor, definitely. Maybe an engine upgrade would be ideal, but I really, really, really want a second tractor for the farm. So I don't really want to waste money on upgrading this one when I could be using it to get something else. You know? When we do... Ideally, we want two tractors on the, on the field. Oh, dear. Because that means we can also hire someone to do the work while we do some other work, like tending for the animals or something like that. Right, I need to take a look here at the map because I don't want to get this wrong. This is the sawmill. This is the cap a carpentry. This is the rent train. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's the railroad silo. Oh. Right. Okay. And we have, to have a... That's an animal dealer. Right. So we don't even have a silo down here, it seems. So we need, in fact, to put it... Oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh, back on the road again. I'm pretty sure I can turn this thing around here somewhere. Yep. Yep. All right. We're good. It's an entire hill climb for nothing. One thing I can say, though, since this is a simulation game... This simulates very well what would happen if I was indeed driving this thing in real life. I would definitely be going the wrong places all the time. <laughs> I would be arriving with a trailer load or something and I'd be like, Oh wait, this is not the place. You're the other guy. Right, okay, oh dear. Well, yep, yeah, that's um, very accurate, I feel. Right, let's see how much this weighs, actually. Uh, that's a lot. I don't know if that's kilos, but that's a lot. It's probably kilos, but I don't know. All right, let's get in here. Let's unload this. Go back. That's all the stuff. Here we are. Let's 
there. So this is just acting as a silo. Right now, it's not going to go anywhere until we actually rent the train and stop the train at the station. Or load the train at the station, specifically. And unload. There we go. Right, I'm off. Back to the farm. Get the final load. Then I'll be right back with you when we unload it right here. Oh, you can actually take this farm track right next to field 9, which is right next to our field 7. And it leads right to the farm. We are literally like 30 seconds away from the train yard. I didn't have to go all that way around. Wow, okay, good to know. <laughs> oh man, yep, this is our farm yard right here. Coming up anyway. Wow, okay. Nice. <laughs> 7%. Wow. Okay, no. I don't want to go out here. I'm gonna back up. Back it up. And then I'm gonna try and get out of here without scratching the, the trailer. And then go up this way. And then right down here, we turn a quick left. And you can tell from the time how long it's taken me to get down here. Probably, like, less than a minute, I'd say, to get back here. Wow. Okay. Good to know for future reference. All right, here we are. Final load right here. Boom. And... Very nice. All right, let's park this out of the way. Kind of, sort of, maybe. Over here. And then... Right here. Park it there. Uh, that's not in the way of anyone. Nope, definitely not. Let's go back here. <laughs> and let's rent a train. Which I believe... Is this is it? Uh... Mm. Oh, there we go. Okay. I actually think I pressed that, like, twice. I really hope that doesn't count. Oh, well. Otherwise, it'll be 1,000 euros. <laughs> That's the train. Not bad. Oh, dear. We got out of the way. Hello, train. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Yep, right there. That is perfect. Let me in. Uh, I said let me in. Uh, let me. Is it because it's not stopped yet? Let me in. Please. Please. Okay, I'll tap it. There we go. Nice. Uh, <laughs> let us open the cover. I need to actually select the right thing. That is... It's not, I believe. Is it this one? I think it's this one. Open cover. Yeah, there we go. And then start filling. 20,000 liters of sugar beet. Nice. There we go. Then we close the cover again. And we turn on the engine. And we go full speed ahead. This might be the second time we're actually using the train. I love how we're sitting here. <laughs> this is fun. I suppose that. So that will hopefully not be too expensive because I double pressed the, the rent button. Because nothing popped up for it. Um, hopefully we're fine. Going 80 kilometers an hour. Passing right past the next station because uh, who, who needs to stop there? Not us. This train is all ours. 500 euros per hour. And we're renting this for basically... At max, three minutes in real life. <laughs> oh well. It needs to be unloaded and sold on the other end anyway, so that's... That's understandable. How far are we? Halfway. Hmm. Let's enjoy the scenery. Nice bridge. Ah, that car had to wait for us. That field's been limed. Does this... wait. <laughs> we have a chewed horn. Can we hear it better outside? A little bit. I prefer inside view though. More immersive. And I believe this is it. Right past that bridge will be uh, thrown off the train, basically. Yep, there we go. The train will now drive to Ottenberg and will return on the other side of the map. Do you want the train to sell the loaded goods? 
Yes. There we go. Vehicle leasing cost. Uh, six hundred. Six, six hundred. Oh, six thousand. Wait, I'm on. I'm past the barrier. Okay, first of all, 6,000. Not bad. I'm past the barrier. Wait, am I? I can't move from one end or the other. <laughs> I'm trapped in the barrier. Oh, well. Alright. That was that. Not too bad. Um, I don't know. Do we sell the Sarkum? I, rem I, I feel like something is telling me that Sarkum can be used for, like, chicken food. But I could be wrong. Let me just double check. Animals, uh, chicken, well, uh, hmm, give me a second. Right, they can eat wheat, barley, and sorghum, so I don't think I actually want to go ahead and sell that, just because I don't want to run out of chicken food. Sunflowers is not yet, um, and barley, can they have barley? Actually, they, I don't think I saw barley, I saw wheat, the other thing. Oh, wheat, barley, okay, so that's chicken food, we're not gonna sell that, so I think... That that is all the selling done. Yeah, before we conclude December though, after eight months of not uploading this, <laughs> uh, I'm going to go to the shop. Uh, first of all, to check the. Oh, forgot to look. Don't tell anyone. First of all, to get the white thing off the trailer so the trailer is actually smaller because that load last time was just. Yeah, that was not. That was not good. Uh, I also need to see if we have narrow tires so we can do like um, weeding and stuff without actually destroying the crops. That'll be nice to know because I forgot. <laughs> and how much is it going to cost for an engine upgrade? Just, just to see. And even on this incline, with nothing in the trailer, the tractor is struggling a lot. But let's just do some browsing. Let's just do a little bit of browsing. And I think now that we're done with the selling, we can actually increase the time to like times five. There we go. Right, let's get over here. This is it. Right in this area, both of them. Turn off the engine so we don't have to listen to it. And let's see what we got. So the trailer. Repaint, we're not going to do that. Customize. Uh, I believe we can remove this uh, ex extension here. So it removes 10... That's the... If 10 of that, I, I forgot the name of it, but we if we can now have basically half less. So if we could have 18,000 before, and now we can probably have like 9,000. Um, and that shouldn't cost us anything. Now for the tractor. Engine setup. So that is 30 more horsepower for 15,000. 25,000 for... 50 horsepower. Right. Yeah, I don't think that's worth it. Because if we've spent 25,000 on upgrading this tractor, we could potentially be getting a used one with a lot more horsepower. Let's just take a look. If we were to buy one completely new, we're not going to. But something like this, that would be 145, but used maybe 30 to 50,000, maybe 80,000. With like a medium tractor would be nice. Like a, in that range. That would be kind of nice. So we'll have to keep our, 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 our eye out for that. Oh yeah, and the narrow tires. Do we have that? I'm pretty sure we do. Wheel set up. Wheel weight. Wide tires. Maybe we already... Yep, we do have them. There we go. Nice. We're not going to apply them now though. Because we're not in the need of them. So. Uh, attach. Let's go back to the farmyard, and then we will say goodbye for this one. And uh, yeah, th this episode is probably going to be a little bit shorter than usual, because we haven't had that much work <laughs> that we've had to be done. But in the next episode, we're going to progress to January. We're going to be planning what stuff we put into the soil. We need to do some soil preparation, probably. I would like to actually put in uh, oilseed radish. To get that extra fertilizer level, if possible. Though I think it's a bit too late, but we'll take a look at that in January. And I think, actually, I will park the trailer right next to this thing right here. It's going to be a nice place for it. There we go. And for the tractor, in fact, as well. There we go. Nice. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, really hope you have enjoyed the return to Family Simulator 22. I certainly have. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, enable those notifications if you haven't done so yet. And I hope to see you in the next one. Until next time, a wonderful rest of your day. And goodbye.